Similar to HTML, XML is also a markup language. But unlike HTML, it is designed to store and transport data. Excel users often need to store their data in XML format. This allows them to store their data on the web and make it accessible to the users. Hey there, Excel enthusiasts! Welcome to Excel Demi, your go-to destination for mastering Excel and Excel VVA related challenges. I'm Shahriya Rabra Rafid and in today's video, I'll be showing a detailed guide on how to create XML mapping in Excel. So, let's roll up our sleeves and get started. For this tutorial, I'll be using Microsoft Excel 365. The first portion is to create or choose an XML file which I will follow for the structure. For creating XML mapping in Excel, it requires an XML file that I will follow to create a new XML file with my desired dataset. Here is my file. You can get this file link from the description box and can download it from there. The XML declaration specifies the XML version and character encoding. The root element is named XML file and includes an XML namespace declaration. Within the XML file, there are two row elements, each representing a data row. Each row contains four elements, ID, name, department, and salary with corresponding values. You can see that the XML code contains 1 as the value in every element. This is because only the structure for mapping is needed. No data is required. Now, I need a dataset in an Excel spreadsheet which I want to export as an XML file. Make sure that the source XML files elements are same as the dataset's column headers. Now, I am in the main phase where I will start creating XML mapping. First, I have to enable the developer tab in the ribbon. For this, right click on any tab on the ribbon and select customize the ribbon option from the context menu. In the Excel options window, check the box of developer option and click OK. Hence, the developer tab is now visible. Go to the developer tab in the XML section, select the source option. Selecting source will trigger a panel on the right named XML source. Here, click on the XML maps button. A dialog box named XML maps will appear. Select add in the dialog box. In the select XML source window, select the file that's structure will be followed. I have saved the XML file in the desktop directory. And here it is. Now, I'm selecting the file from the desktop directory and click open. Then you can see a message from the Excel like this one. Click OK. Furthermore, press OK in the XML Maps dialog box. You could see the structure of the XML file on the XML source panel. Now, I'll map the field names with the corresponding column headers. First, select the column header ID in cell B4 and double click on ID in the XML source panel. It will link them both. Alternatively, you can drag and drop the field names from the XML source panel to the dataset's respective column header. Do it for other columns. Now, I'll export the data as an XML file. Again, go to the Developer tab, select Export in the XML section. In the export XML window, give your file a suitable name. I am naming it exported XML file. Choose your desired directory to save the file. Here I am selecting the desktop directory. Here Excel will save the document as an XML file by default. You don't need to select the file extension manually. Click on the export button. Now open the newly created XML file. Look, it has all the data from the Excel dataset. In this tutorial, I have shown all the steps to create XML mapping in Excel. Download the workbook from the description box so you can practice it yourself. If you have any questions, suggestions or feedback, please let us know in the comment section. Or you can have a glance at exceldemy.com. If you like this video, consider subscribing and click the bell icon. Thanks for watching.